hell of an opener. Opened up with Sammy Guevara and Cody in a ladder match for the TNT titles, both of them. The uh, uh, undisputed champion was going to come out of this match. Yeah, both belts were hung from the from very high. Yes. It was a, a very, yeah, it was high, and um, they did a lot of good wrestling early, and then they did the stunts. And as far as I know, Sammy's okay because, my God, did he... Boy, did he take a beating with some of that stuff that he took. I mean, it was... There were three spots in this match that are the three most notable spots. The first was Cody gave him, from about three rungs up, probably a 10-foot ladder, a standing delayed superplex off the ladder to the mat. You know, the one I I thought even before that, that os cutter on the floor... I mean, he did an os cutter off of the barricades. This is Sammy Guevara on Cody on the floor, and it's like that's a fall. You know what I mean? He, like, like that's a normal bump in a ring, but he's he did that on the floor. He I was did. like, I was like, whoa! I mean, and he, you know, his back had to be hurting from that, and then that superplex from whatever it was. I mean, because the thing is, okay, so he's he's almost ten feet standing on that thing, but Sammy, it's like he's probably what. You know, four, four four feet more above that. You know, being picked up and falling. His feet are probably, um, yeah, probably like four feet higher than Cody's head, and Cody's head was higher than the top of the ladder. So that's like his back was probably taking a whatever it was, like a twelve, thirteen foot fall into the ring, and Cody was taking almost the same fall. I mean, Cody and Kenny Omega did that in in uh, San Francisco, right? Uh, may have been. Yeah, the Cal Powell show that we were at. Um, but still, I mean, I remember that thinking, like, that's a crazy spot. Especially because Cody's got a bad back anyway. I mean, he's got disc issues and things like that in his back. But, you know, when it comes to a big match, um, you know, I mean, he's he's going to do stuff. That's for sure. And uh, Well, Sammy that was Guevara, the first big spot that got him into the match. The other two that we have to talk about. Sammy did a double springboard, which wasn't really a springboard because he was on a ladder, but it was basically a double jump cutter from one amazing. ladder to Cody on another ladder. And that was the second one that had this whole place just going crazy. Okay, so that one required a lot of luck or, or precision to look good because that the way he did that, that one had a real chance of looking bad. And it he hit it. Perfectly, like it couldn't have been better. Yes. that was an amazing spot. And unlike unlike in uh, New Japan, where Red Shoes wants nothing to do with these ladders, uh, they had multiple referees steadying the ladders as these guys were doing the spot. So I was Thank- very thankful for that. Yes, that was good. And then the uh, the last big spot is uh, Sammy gets his twelve foot ladder, and it, it is a tall ladder, and he puts Cody on a ladder bridge underneath the ladder. And he climbs, climbs, climbs. It takes him an hour to get up this there. Is on the, this is on the floor. Yes, it's on the floor. He gets to the very, very top of this ladder. The very, very top. I mean, he's standing on the top, yeah. And his idea is he's going to do the Jeff Hardy falling senton to put Cody through this ladder bridge. But he falls, and not only does the ladder not break, which had to really suck for Cody, but because it didn't break, Sammy, like, bent in half... As he hit this thing, and like his upper body stays, his lower body keeps going, and then he flips over and he smashes into the ground. That one looked scary. But he got up and and they got back into the ring, and the big spot at the end was they were both on a ladder, and Cody grabbed the belts and he basically gave Cody a belt shot to the head from the hanging belt. Cody takes a big bump off the ladder, he goes up, grabs both belts, Sammy Guevara is your unified TNT champion. This was a great match with uh, with some one, crazy spots. I think one of the better ladder matches there's ever been. Um, I thought the match was just tremendous. I thought it was one of the one of the better matches in the history of Dynamite. And I'll tell you what. I mean, it it's hard. It's really hard to you know do something in one night and become a star from it. But if you can do that, Sammy Guevara did that tonight. I mean, um, he just, it's like, th- this was like a, a main event, it was a title change, and it was an incredible 
one man. You know, I'm not saying Cody was. It, he did a, cr- a tremendous one man performance. Cody did his part too. It was not a one man match, even though um, Sammy did the crazier moves for sure, obviously. But uh, wow, wow, they really they. I just thought this match was just uh, super. Twenty three minutes, and uh, it's. I mean, it's interesting because you know the they open with a very different audience um you know coming from big bang theory they usually get a really good lead in from big bang theory and some of the people it usually only lasts about like like you know people talk about like this big lead in and it changes everything and it and it it certainly helps but an hour into the show okay and they you know they've had shows where the peak is is um you know, an, an hour in, you know what I mean? It's not like the peak is always in the first five minutes. Last week, it certainly was. But the um, the thing is, is like there are, you know, like th- there are hundreds of thousands of viewers from Big Bang Theory that are not necessarily wrestling fans that will watch a minute or two or three. And the idea is to start out really hot to keep them watching longer and it's going to be interesting if the novelty of the latter even though they didn't start out doing crazy stuff you know this crazy stuff they built to the crazy stuff it's not like they did in, in minute one nor should they have but it's i'm very curious if the latter match thing kept intri- you know made that an intriguing more to those people and they stuck around longer and obviously, that'll all be reflected uh, tomorrow. Um, you know, in the it'll be known when you see the first quarter numbers. So, um, but it was a great, great, um, great, great open to the show. I mean, man, you don't open a show with uh, many matches at that level. Although AEW, you know, like what they've they have had Brian Danielson and Omega and Adam Page and Brian Danielson opening shows. So, um, you know, they they have done that of late. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.